Um, last year to win the British was a big thing for me because obviously it was the year of the Olympics. We'd had the team announcement the week of the British so it was a bit broken up and then obviously pressure going into it was quite high. I wanted to have a good competition, wanted to show everyone some good performances before I went in so it was a tough competition from pressure for myself but obviously really pleased to go out and deliver and, and take the title again. It was a really good competition. Uh, training going into it, um, I was really confident and it, I just hit it on the day. Um, 2013 British for me is going to be really different to last year. I've been out with an injury for quite a few months now so I'm just getting back into training so I'm just going to be happy to be back training. Not really sure what I'm going to be ready to do so it's kind of I'm just happy to be there competing and whatever happens on the day will happen. I'm hoping to retain my title. Um, training's been going really well. Uh, I'm just trying to keep on top form up into the competition and retain my title again. Um, training's been going really well, I've only been back into it for a couple of months now so I'm just taking it steady and, and trying to keep fit with the main goal being Worlds at the end of the year. So no new moves at the moment but maybe some new combinations a bit later in the year. Um, yeah, I have got some skills in development like uh, trip really up pipe which I'm hoping to add in uh, leading up to the Olympics in 2016. It's really tough to get to the top of the sport, um, you have to put a lot of hours in so you have to sacrifice quite a lot of social events. So it's, it's really tough and the most dedicated people and the ones that work the hardest are obviously the ones that get to the top. So I guess as long as you work hard and you're really dedicated, anyone can achieve it.